How's it going everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White 2. Last time we continued exploring Nimbasa City and we did a good amount of stuff. We battled subway bosses, we went on the shining roller coaster. It was quite an experience. Anyways, in this episode we are going to be challenging the Nimbasa City Pokemon Gym. So without any further ado, What do you think? Surprised, right? This gym, speaking frankly, a glittering fashion show and a dazzling stage. Well, for now, I'll give you this. Fresh water. Clyde the Guide actually stopped us this time. Thanks, Clyde the Guide. Also, wrong thing. I was trying to raise the volume of the music because the volume is... Uh, the volume? The music is so, so good. Take a listen. This music, it sounds like you would hear this music at a nightclub though, right? Am I, am I wrong in saying that? It's like, <laughs> okay, I'm never doing that again. All right, let's face off against the trainers and the music is a little bit different this time on the runway. Take a listen to this music. Man, the music in this gym in general, outside of, you know, the obvious different theme for the battling, is so, so good. I really love the gym this time around. Even though the roller coaster gym last in uh, black and white was really cool as well. Anyway, we're facing off, anyway, we're facing off against this uh, model, and she has an Elekid. Hello, Elekid. You are so adorable. You and your little your little socket that I can plug you into a, your little socket I can plug you into a socket? No, your little prongs that I can plug into a socket. There we go, that's the correct usage of words to describe elekid, uh, procket, sprocket, whatever. Anyway, you have a Flaffy too. By the way, Drillbur just grew to level 27. I like how I pretty much ignored Drillbur just now to talk about how elekid's head is shaped like I can plug it into a wall. Anyway, let's use Dig, our signature move here so far, on Flaffy. And we didn't get paralyzed by either of these Pokemon. I am super, super happy. Beauty, that's the trainer class. It might as well just be Model, right? I mean, come on. And we got a round of applause for defeating the trainers. This gym is so amazing. Can every gym be like this, please? Are you beautiful as a trainer? Surprise me. Oh, I'll surprise you. All right, baby. Here we go against another beauty. Where are the male models? I know there are male models that exist in the world. And plus size models, don't forget the plus size people, Elisa. Don't be shallow. Come on. All right, here we go. Another Flaffy, we're gonna use Dig. Drillbur being faster than ever. I mean, Drillbur is based off a of freaking mole, so I mean, come on, it has to be fast. Moles are fast. Oh, it used Charge. But you can't use electric type moves on me anyway because I'm a ground type. Na 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 na. And we didn't get paralyzed by static. We are doing great right now. Blitzel, all right. Oh, Blitzel, I remember using you and your evolutions, Abstrika. Aw, so many memories of all of the Pokemon I've used in this generation in specific across not only just the Let's Plays that I've done. <laughs> All four of them, <laughs> but uh, just in general of using Pokemon, I used Blitzel when the games first came out, too, like, not Let's Playing. It was such- I really like Blitzel. Anyway, we defeated the beauty, and we are doing good right now. Not just I am doing good, but Drillber is doing good right now. And once again, the model runs away- <laughs> get it? Runs away on the runway. 
And here we go. Hey, look, another trainer before we can face the gym leader. And you just did a lot of twirls. Wow, okay, yeah. Oh, a finale worth... Okay, okay. We're the finale of the runways coming up. All right, we're gonna have to get... Gonna have to get our fashion on. We're gonna have to put on our nice sports coats. We're gonna have to put on our nice pants. Nice underoos. All right, here we go against... <laughs> what am I even talking about? I'm losing my mind. Because I'm... <laughs> This is the third episode in a row I'm recording, and I'm going to be insanely trying to record another episode after this one, so uh, if I sound delirious in any of these episodes, then forgive me. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Defeated the Blitzel, another Elekid up next. Do you have two Pokemon like the rest, or do you have three? You have two, okay. Alright, light again. What? I'm using a physical move. Why would you set up the light screen? Light screen is for special moves. Use reflect if you're gonna boost your defense. Come on. Oh my god, we got so lucky with the RNG. Out of all of these Pokemon we face so far that have static for the ability, we have not been paralyzed by any of them. Static, um... Paralyzed is a Pokemon when you make physical contact. Oh, I should shut up. Man, the gyms are so cool in this game, especially this one. I really love it so much. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Uh, static. Physical contact makes the... Pokemon that hits the physical move paralyzed. We haven't gotten paralyzed thus far. I shouldn't have said anything because I'll probably get completely hacked out in this gym battle, but let's just actually jump right into it. Welcome to the main stage. My beloved Pokemon and your Pokemon shall compete. We're going to see whose star shines brightest. Here we go, we have been challenged by Gym Leader Elisa, who looks a little bit different since the two years between black and white. She is going to start out with a familiar Pokemon though, Emolga. Level 26 in Easy Mode, 28 in Normal Mode, and 30 in Challenge Mode. Electric Flying Type, Static for the ability, and in Challenge Mode it is holding a Citrus Berry. With the moves, Volt Switch, Aerial Ace, Pursuit, and quick attack. And my tactic for this gym battle is to basically just, um, use Hone Claws and get my attack all the way up, and then kind of just like sweep through the gym. I'm surprised she hasn't used Aerial Ace. Maybe Aerial Ace is only on her Amolga in challenge mode? That would be a little bit weird though, wouldn't it? Cause yeah, she's used quick attack and pursuit. Maybe Aerial Ace is only in the challenge mode moveset. If that's the case, then wow, that's a bit weird. All right, let's use another Hone Claws, praying we don't get critical hitted. Thank you. That's our fourth Hone Claws, I do believe. So now's the point where we do heal up Drillbur because Drillbur is hopefully going to sweep through this entire team. So Super Potion for Drillbur, here we go. And then let's prepare to battle, shall we? I guess while I'm set it while I have been setting up and I'm currently taking on this Amolga, I could talk about the Pokemon she has exclusively in challenge mode. And that Pokemon is Joltik, which comes at level 30. There's the static like I expected. Level 30 bug electric type with unnerve for the ability. And its moveset would be Volt Switch, X Scissor. Energy Ball, and Thunder Wave. A quite potent moveset for a Joltik at that level. Rocks, I just faced a Molga and now you want to learn Rock Slide? That would have been, that would have come so in handy. Uh, let's get rid of Metal Claw. I don't really need Metal Claw, plus we learn a better Steel type move later on. And trust me, you will want to teach it that move. All right, Rock Slide. Next up is going to be Flaffy, level 26 in easy mode, 28 in normal, and 30 in challenge mode. Electric type, static for the ability, with the moves, Volt Switch, Take Down, Thunder Wave, and Confuse Ray. Although I think one of those moves may be only in challenge mode, just like it was for uh, Aerial Ace on Amolga. 
I don't know. Maybe it is. it does have the move and it just didn't use it? I don't know. It, there's no real easy way to tell that. And now is going to be Elisa's ace Pokemon, Zebstrika, the evolved form of Blitzel. Level 28 in easy mode, 30 in normal, 32 in challenge, electric type, motor drive for the ability, with the moves, oh, and it's holding a citrus berry, with the moves, volt switch, flame charge, pursuit, in easy and normal mode, it has quick attack, and in challenge mode, it has stomp for its final move. Which I'm very glad it doesn't have stomp in this mode because it would probably have used it and I'd probably get flinched a ton. Uh, let's use a Paralyze Heal. And then we're probably going to have to heal up with a Super Potion again. Here comes the... Oh, Flame Charge is a little bit devastating. Okay, no, that's not too bad. The only thing that's devastating is its speed gets risen. Uh, should I risk... I think I'm just going to risk it without healing... Please be kind to me. Oh, thank- oh my god, that only did 16 damage. What am I so afraid of? It can't hit me with Volt Switch, its strongest move, with- outside of Stomp in, you know, challenge mode. There we go, we have defeated Zeb Strika. Why was I so worried about this gym battle? Anyway, level 30 now is Drillbur, our first Pokemon in the level 30s. Oh, they're growing up so fast! You'd think with the three Pokemon, other Pokemon I have on my team that gain boosted experience, they would have been in the level 30s a while ago, but, uh, I guess not. Well, now you, you're an even more wonderful trainer than I expected. Look, Mom, I'm on the billboard! Look, look, look! You see, you see! Oh, I'm gone now. Your sweet fighting style swept me off my feet. There I am again! Look, I'm on the billboard again! Look at me, look at me, look at me, look, look, look! Oh, oh, okay. Take this. We have received the Bolt Badge. From Elisa, as I can... Oh, okay, I'm apparently... I'm just gonna shut up about the billboard now. If you have four badges, including this Bolt Badge, Pokemon up to level 50, included those that are traded, will obey you. Also, here's this move I like. Feel free to use it, um, if you want to. TM72 Volt Switch! A very, very good Electric-type move. Volt Switch lets the Pokemon switch with a different Pokemon after attacking. Of course, if you don't have another Pokemon in your party, you can't switch. And there we go, we've done it! Now let's walk the runway! Yay! Or run the runway, you can get it, run the runway. Wait! Please walk with us! They love me! They really love me! A shining example of a trainer. Since that's what you are, you should be able to collect all the gym badges and reach the Pokemon League. Then, you and your Pokemon will shine even brighter. Well, thank you, Elisa. One more time, let's just listen to the funky music. Alright, that's enough. I don't want the chance of getting content ID'd. Let's get out of here. Alright, there we go. We have successfully conquered the Nimbasa City Pokemon Gym. And that is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon White 2. Next time, we will finally head inside of the Gear Station here. Not the Battle Subway, the Gear Station. We'll finally head inside and we'll actually travel to another town by train. So until then, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.